ever since that. Obviously, you, you said it yourself. You feel you're ready to move up through the levels. You want to become an elite level fighter. Yeah. Next man in your sights is that it's the British title fight. Aye, British title fight. So um, that was ma- mandated by the British Boxing Board. Feels like ages ago now, nice before that. even he fought Isaac Lowe. So um, I injured my hand in the Robinson fight. Um, so then he obviously fought Lowe and went on to fight that other African guy. So now there's now it's gone ahead. Now there's no obstacles. Um, I'm all good, healthy, ready to go, and I'm sure he is as well. So. I seen you said a wee bit of a Twitter spot when you first had to pull out of that uh, uh, scheduled fight. Uh, what do you make of that? Ah, just it was good. I was I was up for the fucking bit of banter and that anyway. Like I felt like he was being a bit of a dick. Like oh look at this guy trying to pull out because he's scared. I'm not I'm not scared of nobody. So um, I was always always invested in that fight. I had fought him before he even got his name. I was meant to fight him before he even got his name for fighting Isaac Lowe, so it made no difference to me. I wasn't filling out for anything other than and I put a video up, you could see my hand was swollen fuck, so um you know it was just one of the ones but it was funny because I think he thought he was gonna rinse me on Twitter and everybody was gonna jump on and back him up and then I ended up just sorting how many the people jumped in and ended up embarrassing <laughs> him rather than me. You see um that fight, what kind of fight are you expect? What's going to be? You can't give the game plan away, obviously, but you know he's going to come. Aye, that's that, that's all. He, he, that guy's only got one style. He's very one-dimensional. He's going to come out and he's going to try and attack me. He's going to come. He, he's he's a good fighter. He's a vicious fighter, but there's only one dimension in his game, and it's I'm going to try and chin you. What do you do when you can't chin somebody? He's not a one-punch knockout artist. Who's he chin with one punch? He's never put anybody flat out. So he can't punch that hard. Um, would he be known if it wasn't for the Isaac Lowe fight? Was Isaac Lowe stoppage fair when he turned his back? In my opinion, the guy's on a, a big hype now and everybody's overlooking me, which is fine by me because I know what I bring to the table. So I'm really looking forward to it because his hype becomes my hype when it's over, you know? So, is that how you're viewing this? This is your yeah, coming out fight? That's it, this is my coming out fight. I, I, genuinely, I thought the Robinson fight would be my coming out fight, but obviously, it was only big in Scotland, it was only a good fight in Scotland. Um, the platform, the fight zone wasn't the platform to make me the name that I thought it was going to make me. So BT is the, the platform and Nick Ball was the fighter, you know, everybody's buzzing Nick Ball, next Mick Tyson, next world champion, next mini Mick Tyson, this, that, the next thing. But they don't know who Nathaniel Collins is yet, but they will. See if this year you get that one steel belt. Is the Lonsdale belt something that means a lot to you? Is it something you'd like to defend and get outright, or do you want to move on and just not, use that as a I'm platform? Not, I, I'm not bothered about the Lonsdale belt. I, I, I'd fight for no belt or just defend my own belt or go for a WBC silver. The, the British is a bonus to say that's something I've won in my career, but it's nothing that bothers me. And I think like me and Paul are kind of on the cusp of... I, I would say world level rather than European level. Like I, I would say... Us two at the now in Britain are more or less the best featherweights. You get Jordan Gill there, but he got by on the skin of his teeth in that European title fight against a blown up super bantamweight, you know what I mean? So, in my opinion, this fight puts out there who should be next in the world line for the British featherweights, you know? So. And just last couple of things then. All goes to plan 2022, Christmas comes, you could have Bryce Tyler on your, your walker. 2023, does that hold for me, thank you, Um see what happens with the other world champions and, and how do you see that full th- I mean you've just obviously had Lara Wood and Lee wait sorry Lee Wood and I, Lara Lara okay anyway I, you know that fight's now postponed yeah that's now postponed so and, you, um, don't, you don't know what could happen you know like Lara could go get that fight in the States but I see Lara so I, Lara could go get a fight in the States and then Leetwood's looking for an opponent and you've just won this and you get the ball up. You don't know what's happening. Warrington, who's he fight next? I don't know. Um, you know, Nick Ball's got the WBC silver. Who knows if you go and get a fight in America for the WBC? That would be my dream and my goal. Like, ultimately, um, I know that the WBC champion just lost. Uh, Mayorko was it? Um, the Filipino guy. So he just lost there. Yeah, a big, big guy. So. You get Leo Santa Cruz is still trying to hold one of the titles aye, as well. Aye, so the possibilities are all the possibilities are endless at Featherway. It seems everybody's 
Right, your final question then. I feel like you're going more to your man, be your offer. 2023 finishes off with you, challenging for world title against which opponent and where? Most realistic. I don't want realistic, I want well, your dream. I want, my dream would be whoever's holding the WBC and in America and Vegas. <laughs> that green and gold belt with the MGM. Green and gold belt, exactly. I'm more or less 50 fighters dream, isn't it? Jimmy, Vegas or Madison Square? I'll Unless you're David Jameson, he said your call. <laughs> nah, he is an awesome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Nathaniel, I know you're here for LA, so I'll let you go and crack on.